elections. They will also test the Republican candidate's argument that the vast majority of those ballots were cast by Republican voters. Here's what you need to know. Statewide, there are 518,000 uncounted ballots. 70% of those uncounted ballots, that's 350,000, are here in Maricopa County. And almost 300,000 of those uncounted ballots were early ballots dropped off on election day, so-called late earlies. We'll get our first glimpse from tonight's ballot drop, which way those late earlies are trending. Here's what's at stake for the candidates. Republican Senate candidate Blake Masters needs to win 61% of the remaining ballots to pull even with Democratic Senator Mark Kelly. To date, Masters has won 46%. Republican Secretary of State candidate Mark Fincham also needs 61% of the vote to catch up to Democrat Adrian Fontes. Fincham has 47% of the vote in his race. The path a little easier for GOP candidate for governor Carrie Lake. Lake can close the gap with Democrat Katie Hobbs by winning 53% of the remaining vote. Lake currently has 49% of the vote. Now, as more ballots are counted, those percentages will rise or fall. But over the next several days, there won't be enough ballots left to count for a candidate to catch up, and we will have a winner. All right. We're doing a lot of math, like you said. A lot of math. Said, we're, math. We're getting there, folks. We're getting there. Just give us a little time. Bram, thank you, as always. We greatly appreciate it.